Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model curtains in Revit. Now, we all like to create these huge curtain wall surfaces on our buildings because it looks nice and it opens the whole building up, but we usually don't think about the blinding light that's going to be coming through those curtain walls. So in this video I'm going to show you how to protect yourself or your building from that huge amounts of light that are going to be coming in because of your big curtain wall surfaces and we're going to be doing that through creating curtains in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay so let's get started. This is the micro house project I did a couple of videos ago and if you're interested in, in watching this there's a link to the tutorial in the, co in the description of this video. But now here we have the, these curtain walls and we're going to create some curtains on the inside of this curtain wall that's going to protect us from the sun. So let's get started. First I'm going to go here into level 1 and we already have this section created over here so I'm just going to pull it out a bit like this and now I'm going to create another section because I need two for this project so I'm just going to create a section like this and then just flip it to the other side and kind of extend this a bit okay so once this is completed now we can start modeling our curtain wall and to do that or our curtain and to do that we're going to be using a massing in sight and we're going to be modeling our curtain as an in-place mass. Now the reason I'm using in-place mass instead of in-place family is because in-place mass is kinda easier to navigate and easier to create some organic shapes than using just the in-place family editor. So I'm going to go here to in-place mass, just go close, let's just call it curtain hit OK. So once we're here we need to set some things up so I'm going to go in one of these sections you can use any which one and first I'm just going to set the detail level to fine to see it a little better and now let's add some reference planes so just type in RP for reference plane and now we can set reference planes so I'm going to set one reference plane over here like so almost at the kind of at the ceiling level, just a bit lower, kind of at the level of this uh, top mullion over here. Then I'm just going to go and create another reference plane like this, anywhere in the middle, and then I'm going to place one near the floor. And I'm just going to select it and let's place it at, yeah, let's do at 0.2 meters from the floor or 20 centimeters. Now I'm just going to type in dimension or DI and let's just create a dimension like this and let's just hit EQ to make this distance equal. Now we can delete this dimension. Okay, so we have three reference planes, one on the top, one over here in the middle and one close to the ground. And we're going to be using these to model our curtains. So I'm going to name the top one number one, this middle one number two and the bottom one number three. And it's important to name them because you can select them through their names later. So for modeling my curtain wall or my curtains I'm going to go here to site plan and make sure that it's here as far as graphic display options make sure to use this wireframe graphic display so you can kinda see what's going on underneath. So first I'm going to be modeling the railing for this curtain and I'm going to do that just simply by using model lines so just type in L I for model lines and here make sure to set the work plane so you just go here set or you can go here when you go model lines you can go here placement plane and you can choose reference plane 1 that's the top one we have and let's let's create a rectangle like this and let's start kind of from here extend it all the way here and start perhaps from here extend it kind of like that maybe make it a bit thicker yeah and now we can delete this part over here we can delete this over here and then just by using trim and extend you can kinda trim and extend this in place so you kinda create this L-shaped or reverse upside down L-shape 
element and this will be your curtain railing or the thing that actually holds the curtains on the ceiling. So you just go finish or not finish, you just go into 3D like so, you kinda find that and you go here create form and it creates a sort of an extrusion. Now I'm just going to go here to one of my sections, let's go to section 1 and here we can change the height of this extrusion to the ceiling and we can select the whole extrusion and we can change the material. So let's change the material to something, some aluminum perhaps. Maybe that's best for this. Let's try to find aluminum. OK, go OK. So now we have this aluminum curtain railing near the top. OK, so now we can do the actual curtains. And to do them, I'm just going to go back to site plan again or site floor plan. And once you're here, you're going to be using these model splines. And I prefer using spline through points for these curtain wall curtains. So I'm just going to use that. And you go here to set work plane, of course. So you just go model line. And let's try to say we set it last time through this. Let's now go through this. And let's choose reference plane 1. So you choose by name, reference plane 1, hit OK. And here you have this draw on face and draw on work plane. And you want to choose draw on work plane because when you go draw on face, it's kind of going to pick whatever face Revit wants to use. So let's just go over here and let's just start placing our curtains. So I'm just going to go here, kind of kind of like this. and. Okay, it started from there for some reason. Okay, so let's start doing something like that. And now I'm just going to count the points. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'm going to kind of do a little larger increments. 7, 8, 9, and 10, finishing here at the door. And just hit modify to close out of that. So we got 10 points over here, 5 are kind of close together and the rest of them are kind of further away. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. So just go model line, spline, make sure it's on reference plane 1 and it's here draw on work plane and again you start from here, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so kind of extend it like that and you go finish. Okay, so we have these two now finished. Now let's switch work planes. So again, go model, spline, and here I'm going to choose reference plane 2. Again, make sure it's here, draw on work plane, and you start drawing again. Now you kind of flip this. So you start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, something like that. Now you go finish and you do the same thing over here. So you go spline, draw on work plane, work plane number two, and you go one, two, three, four, kind of five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten over here. And you just finish. And make sure that it's kind of unequal, uneven so it looks more organic and natural. And let's do the final one, so you go model line, spline, draw on work plane number three, and now let's start drawing. So you go here, perhaps like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten like that. And now you can, of course, change these points a bit if you want. I'm not going to bother. Okay, kind of like that. And you do the same thing over here. So you just go model, spline, draw on work plane, work plane number three. And again, start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten kind of over there. And you just go finish. Now I'm just going to go here into 3D like this and now I'm going to select this one 
and this one and go create form so you get something that looks like that now you select this the whole form and you select this here spline and you go create form and it kind of continues on down you do the same thing here you start from the top you select this hold the control select this as well and let's select this this one too and you go create form and it creates our curtains so now we only need to add the materials and as you can see this looks quite natural it looks like actually looks like a curtain so you kinda select the whole thing you select this one too you just hold the control to select both of them and you now need to create the material but you would like to use some transparent material so you can have kinda a little bit of light seeping through these curtains so you go here to the material editor and you need to find some fabric so just go here to home Autodesk fabric and we have linen beige linen white and let's use this light and you have kinda this okay let's use this this funky little color so let's choose this one load it into project go to appearance and here we can see the transparency is at nothing so let's add a little bit of transparency so I'm going to go at kinda 40 percent and go apply okay and now if we click out you can see we have our curtains they're kinda transparent but they also have this cool little pattern so I'm just going to go here to finish mass and it's kinda going to give me a warning but that doesn't matter and we have our curtains in Revit so let's go into level 1 let's create a camera view perhaps from here kinda like that okay uh, you can't really see anything let's move the camera yeah let's move it like that okay we still can't see anything <laughs> just a second yeah let's move it here perhaps kinda like that let's try that one okay so we can kinda see our curtains over here and now if we go into rendering you can see here we have this railing and our curtains kinda attached to that railing and if I hit double R for render and let's just try at medium and let's try rendering and this is kinda what you get so you can see here this blinding light doesn't occur over here over our curtains and we can bring down the transparency a bit if you want them to be kinda darker but as you can see it looks it looks quite realistic for a Revit rendering of a curtain so I'm kinda I'm quite happy with this okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day